The issue here, neither of these two trucks here fit in the garage. My HOA states, I'm not allowed to park in the grass, sidewalk, curb, street, where we leave one of the trucks tonight. HOA, checkmate, cause uh, I'm, I'm calling your bluff right now. Disgusting. You look like a child molester. Damn, wow, escalating quickly. <laughs> All right, so in the last video, we tried Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. That one was uh, that one was actually pretty good. It's kind of funny because when I first started filming, I was stuck in traffic. I didn't, I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. But you can watch the clip, and as I'm drinking it, I'm like, all right, this ain't bad. So we're trying Starbucks today. It's my first time ever actually having some kind of a drink from Starbucks other than hot chocolate. If you turn it around, it says what it is. Um, it's a uh, venti. Venti iced coffee with milk. Four pumps vanilla. What kind of milk? Whole milk. Yeah, always, nasty. Always milk. Um, four pumps vanilla, four pumps caramel syrup. No classic. I don't know what that means. No classic syrup. No classic syrup. You didn't syrup. need to read that. Um, and triple shot of espresso. I've never had espresso in my life. It's not espresso. It's not espresso? No. It's just espresso. 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 Yes. Oh, see, I'm learning. See? <laughs> This is a, this is a so caramel and uh, vanilla. Because he's weak. Oh my god, that's terrible. You have to mix it up. That's really bad. That's I do not like this at all. <laughs> Jesus. It's the espresso. Can I turn around and go to Dunkin' Donuts? This is, this is terrible. Like I'm not even joking. This is terrible. No, it's not. I do. Oh my god, fuck that. No, I'm not drinking that. That's disgusting. Try that. Try that. Tell me what you think, because that's... No. Uh, you, I told you you should have got what I got. No, I'm not drinking that. I'll turn around and get a Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not drinking that. Dunkin' Donuts isn't going to make it better. I just want something different, because I do not... I'm not even, like, trying to be dramatic for camera. Like, I really... Try that. I really don't like it. Put your straw in it. It's the it. espresso. That's... You've oh, never had espresso. That's disgusting. There's three shots in there. That's nasty. That's why it tastes so strong. That's really nasty. So all you have to do is add sweetener to it. We can go to Starbucks and get you your sweetener. That's really nasty. I'm gonna need a whole nother cup of ice too because all the ice is melted. This is this has not been a good Starbucks experience at all. Nope. Yeah. No, so it's nasty. good. You're just weak. That's so I'm weak then. Whatever. Because that's uh, I don't like that. Coming from someone who doesn't drink coffee. Not happening. That definitely was not what it was supposed to be, so. They were stupid busy. Yeah, I, I think they I think they messed that one up. So we went to um, a new one. We went to a new one, and uh, got something different. I know, it's got a nice presentation to it. Why well, won't this focus? Because my camera sucks. That's why. There we go. It's focused. This is what we got. We're gonna try it. Where's the straw? Straw me. Let's shake it up first. No, just drink it. Broken straw. No. What? I mean, I still, I think, I think what it is is the espresso. The espresso, I just espresso. It's not. It's supposed to be coffee. It's not supposed to be. This one's definitely better. I could drink this, hundred percent. Your little Dunkin' drink does not have espresso in it. That's why. Exactly, so you, it's an acquired taste. I mean, I could definitely drink this, 100%. I could do this. Once you mix it up and if you're not drinking all espresso, it's not bad. Can you stop saying espresso? There's espresso. no X, where's the X? Espresso. It's espresso. Say it with me. Es. X. S. S. Espresso. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just, it's espresso. Not bad. I'll drink it again. 100%. A little cold start. Been a little while.
Damn. box today I'm in the I'm in the squat box Escajo Tahoe whatever the hell you want to call it there's so many names for it at this point taking it to work with me today so we get to have some fun in the Tahoe hell yeah pretty excited you guys just saw a clip of me trying Starbucks yesterday for the first time and it's funny because I'm headed to Dunkin Donuts right now because Dunkin Donuts is about 45 yards from my house so I feel like I'm I'm cheating on one or the other I'm leaning more towards Dunkin'. I'm not a true coffee person. I just like the, the sweetness, you know what I mean? I just like the the chocolatey of it, the caramel, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm not a true coffee person. But, hey, you know, you do what you got to do to get through the day. Whatever you have to do to make your day successful, that's what you need to do in the morning. Wake up, chase the fucking bag, chase the bread, and be successful by the end of the day. That's all you have to do. Make it, make it happen. Yeah, this is bad. This is like three days in a row that I've been to Dunkin' Donuts. I wonder if we... How many days in a row does it take to get sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts? How do I get a that wide frappe at <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> that wide, that wide caramel drizzle. Drop the best Dunkin' Donuts drink name below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think my Dunkin' Donuts drink should be. That wide frappe that wide macchiato that wide shut the fuck up something let me know in the comments rides a, a lot better than the Silverado does going down 75 on the way to work which I mean it's not like that surprises me at all right I mean it's obviously gonna ride better than the uh, lifted shit box that I drive every day but I don't know where the the vibes today have been ridiculous this morning I'm in a great mood maybe it's the caffeine that's hitting me I don't know it was really tough to get out of bed, but as soon as I got out of bed today, the, the vibes just went from zero to a hundred. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Today's video is gonna be a banger for you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned. We're gonna have a great fucking day. We're gonna chase some bread, make the best of it. This is literally... Oh, damn it. Literally like the perfect setup right here. I know I say this all the time. I call everything the perfect setup all the time. But when it comes to jeans, this is it. Right here. You got like a, I can't remember if it's a two and a half or a three and a half, but it's one of those. You got like a two to two and a half, three and a half lift kit, front and rear, with some 22s or 24s and 35s. That literally, to me, if I was gonna have a Jeep, that would be it. We got the Fuel Siege, I believe, with the black spike lug nuts. We got some Venom Power RTs, which is the Ridge Grappler, essentially, but Venom's version. I love the black spike lug nuts. Honestly, the three and a half with the 35s, to me, is just, it's got the right ratio all the way around. That's definitely the way to go. If you guys have Jeeps, and you guys are trying to figure out some kind of setup to put on your Jeeps at home, two and a half to three and a half with some 35s, like a 24 or 22 by 12. Not gonna mess your ride up too much. Give you a little poke on the sides. Might end up having to get a uh, spare tire bracket for the back to make sure that it sits all right. But other than that, stupid clean though. Need to clean up some tire paste off those tires. But other than that, dumb clean setup. I got great news. The AC in the Tahoe is, is gone out. 
and it's the first year of the new body style and the Freon that the Tahoe takes is really fucking expensive for no reason. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Super, super excited. Right, right in the right in the middle of summer too. Right as summer starts, AC goes out. Fucking amazing. We got Vic up here. Have you always had the black spike lug nuts? Yeah. I don't know why. I feel like I don't know. It sticks out to me more than usual today. I don't know. I like your truck though. Hold on. I gotta go answer the answer the phone. I, I wanted to go get some ice cream. We're gonna go get some ice cream. Just wait. Hey, we got the best UPS driver in the nation. My UPS driver. Best UPS driver in the nation right there, I'm telling you. I want to come look at this, uh... This four-point turn in that truck. This four-runner, though. Absolutely shitting on him. Damn. Okay. The hardcore HC-13s. The Venoms. We got 22 by 14s looks like. With some, uh, Toy Tech coilovers. Motherfucker's big. Damn. I kind of like that. I'm I'm really digging that to be honest. I really am. Real I'm I would drive the hell out of that thing to be honest. What you think? Drive the hell out of it? I would. I don't know how it rides. It may not ride the best. I mean, I'm 100% honest on this channel. It probably does ride like crap, but it looks good. That's all that matters, right? Looks good. Tahoe probably rides like crap, but it looks good. Jeep probably rides like crap, but it looks good. You know what yeah, I mean? Tahoe definitely rides like shit. <laughs> definitely ride, rides like shit. <laughs> all right, let's go get some ice cream. Let's stop playing around. Let's get back to business. So you guys saw in the video that the Tahoe is staying at the shop today. Tahoe did not make the trip home. So at the house, back at the house, we have the wide bow tie, that wide bow tie, and we have the cat eye. Now, the issue here, the issue that I'm currently thinking about that I can't figure out what I'm going to do is neither of these two trucks here fit in the garage. Now, why is that an issue? Well, it's not really an issue, except for the fact that my HOA states I'm not allowed to park in the grass, sidewalk, curb, street, any, pretty much anywhere except for in my driveway or in my garage. So, now we get to decide where we leave one of the trucks tonight. Is that going to bite me in the ass tomorrow? Potentially. Am I going to get an HOA letter and or fine? Potentially. Do I really have a choice in the matter? Absolutely not. So, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, we're... I'm, I'm kind of teeter-tottering on, do I just go ahead and send it and park the bow tie, that white bow tie in the driveway, and then park one of my other trucks just in the grass over there, or the, the white truck in the grass over there, because obviously I can't park it like half and half, that's not gonna work. I can't park it over here because it's two wheel drive. If there's dew in the morning, it could get stuck, but I could technically park it down this way because my property does go all the way and look this is this is how just fucking annoying the people that cut the grass in the neighborhood are so the weeds in my in my yard are really bad i know i need to cut the grass but you can see where they stop cutting the grass where my property ends you can see just the clean line from weeds to where my property ends so technically all of this over here is legal parking for me except for the hoa that says i can't park in the grass so what should i do drop in <laughs> drop in the in the comments below what you guys think i should do because the tahoe's ac is not working you know christina doesn't want to drive it which i understand it's hot as hell so she's going to drive the silver truck for a couple days once until we can get that figured out i'm going to drive the white truck for a couple days which means for the next couple of days one of these trucks either stays in the street or stays in the grass so hoa checkmate because uh I'm, I'm calling your bluff right now. Tonight is the night I'm calling the bluff. So I gotta run some errands. Um, I'm gonna be back here in a couple minutes. I'm actually gonna move the bow tie into the driveway where it's gonna sit tonight. And I'm 99% sure the white, white truck is going to end up like up here on the curb 
or in the grass or something like that. Should I be excited about this? Probably not. Am I? Absolutely though, because who doesn't like getting an HOA letter? I mean, do they come with a fine? Yes. Can I call the lady? Blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But I do it for the content. I do it for you guys because I know you guys like to see me get in trouble and, and me have a good time with my life. So that's what we're looking at. We'll see how it goes. All right. So currently we have the bow tie in the driveway and that one up there. I'm going to wait for it to get dark. Then we make our move. Well, boys, I think we made it. Bow tie in the driveway. Cat eye in the yard. <laughs> I think it looks good sitting in the yard, though. It's got the, you know, sit in the yard kind of look to it. You know what I mean? I think it turned out pretty good. Hell, it's still here, so. You know, maybe if I pulled it up a little bit farther, but it was dark. And I didn't want to get stuck in the grass, either. But hey, we made it through the night. To be honest, I'm really surprised that we made it through the night. I, I mean, did I expect somebody was going to tow me out of the grass? Maybe. But I, I didn't really think that would happen. If I leave it for the next couple of nights, we'll see. So I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure you guys drop some likes and some comments below. What kind of content you guys want to see. I got a lot of great stuff coming this week. Thank you guys for watching the channel. I'll see you guys next time. It's a new day. Chase that bag. Chase some bread. Let's get this bread. Get this bread. That's what I'm talking about.